money one time. Get one time. Get away from bros. Alright? Get my bros. Alright, so I'm gonna paste this way. One more over here. Alright, one more, two more. Alright, paste this way. Turn your body. Come on. Oh. There you go.
I know that she was a woman of God, lived by the word of God. We know that she lived a life according to what God wanted her to live. And for that, I think we should give God a hand praise for the life that she lived before us. Amen. 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 I know it's hot out here and things, but we're going to celebrate this the way that she would want it. Amen. 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 My name is Pastor Terry Williams. I'm the senior pastor of Light of the World Ministry in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Uh, we are here to just do that, to celebrate life. Amen. 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 At this time, we have our scripture reading of the Old Testament. Um, Pastor Bridget drew it, and the New Testament will be by <coughs> Pastor Barbara Savage. And then we had a prayer conference by Bishop Kenny Thompson in that order. Amen. 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 Good afternoon. The Old Testament reading will come from Psalm 23, and it reads. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. We thank God for the blessing of his word. Thank you. I'll be coming from 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, starting at the 51st verse. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be risen incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this incorruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall we be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? First Corinthians 51 through. Amen. Let us pray. Most Heavenly Father, once again, we say thank you. Yes, oh God, yes, it was yes, a sad occasion, but God, you know you made and never made a mistake. Yes, so I yes. ask you to bless this family, oh God. Bless them to keep them wherever they are weakened at, oh God. Pick them up and strengthen them, oh God. Because yes. one day we're going to have to pass this same thing. Yes, yes. Amen. We ask you to bless the family right now. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We have the acknowledgement by the funeral director. In that order. Amen. We're grateful for the life of and the legacy of evangelist Joyce Elaine Bailey. Come on, let's give God a hand clap of praise for her life, her legacy, and her love. All the yes. things that she has shown us throughout the years as she yes, yes, yes. was born here yes. in Stony Creek, moved down to the 757 Portsmouth, Virginia. <laughs> Portsmouth, Virginia, know a lot about it, which raised her and also brought her and taught her many lessons. But I'm glad that she returned home, Amen. that she returned home on this day. Truly, on behalf of this most precious family, we thank you for all the cards, all the calls of sympathy, and all of the love that you have sent in their direction. We know that this is a difficult day, but we serve a great God who is greatly to be praised. And the Bible declares that though your weeping may endure for a night, remember joy shall come in the morning. On behalf of the Joseph M. Johnson and Son Funeral Home, we thank you for allowing our family to serve your family in this most difficult time. And our last words of comfort to you. Be not dismayed, whatever be tied. Remember, God will take care of you. God bless you. Now we have a solo by Sister Cynthia Robinson. She's here. Amen. Come on, sing us to heaven and leave us there. <laughs> Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, praise the Lord. I know this is... This is the day that the Lord has made. We yes, shall rejoice you. and be glad yes, in it. Yes, yes. And come on, I'm here to support my brother on today yes. and the family, but I want you to remember and know that earth has no sorrow come on. that heaven cannot feel. Yes. And like Bishop said a little moment ago, this is
is a way that all of us got to go one yeah, day, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Come on, and anybody that know Aunt Joyce, she was not a sad person. Come on, anybody have ever been in Aunt Joyce's presence? No, she was not a quiet person, y'all. So anything that dead needs to be buried, and guess what? She's not dead because she's gonna sleep in the bosom of Jesus. Come on, y'all. Come on, we gotta celebrate this woman of God on today. Come on, she was a woman of love and she was a woman of correction. Anybody that knew her, she did not bite her tongue with nobody. Become, but, but she came with true love with everything she said. Yeah, yeah. And I just came to encourage the family on today. I will lift up mine eyes to the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. Charlton and Jermaine Waller. They're not here. 
Who's singing? Cynthia. Cynthia. Okay. Is Cynthia is coming back. Come on, back, sister. Cynthia singer's happy. <laughs> Why should I feel discouraged? And why? over you. Yes, sir. 
Amen. Amen. Even though we're in the midst of this pandemic, he's still watching Amen. over Amen. you. Amen. Many people have come and gone, but still he's watching he's still over. Watching Can I get a witness in here? Amen. Oh, yes, he Amen. is. Amen. If I can attest, if it had not been for the Lord on your side, you might as well finish that right there. Bless his name. I'm going to leave that alone here. I feel the Holy Ghost shifted in here. I dare you look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, do you know where I come from? Uh, if it had not been for the Lord on your side, where would you be? Oh, make sure you get an answer there. Oh, yes. I thank God that we have a preacher that we were here to lay the rest. Yes, that uh, she didn't die clubbing. Uh, her, her dying was never in vain. Nobody had to shoot her down. Nobody had to run her down. I believe she laid her life down. For somebody else out here. Oh, Lord, let me leave that alone here. We get ready for the preacher word. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, settle down. Settle down. He's not no stranger to this family. He loves this family. He talked about with this family. He grew up with this family. Amen. He's coming. He's the senior pastor of the God Trinity Church of Christ Ministry in Chesapeake, Virginia. He is a good preacher. Yes, he is. He can lay the word down like the greatest one. Yes, sir. Amen. He's coming in the form of Pastor Jermaine Taylor. Yes. Give him a hand as he comes. Amen. Amen. Come on, bless his name in the house. I don't know about y'all, but I come to give God glory. Hey, I come to give him praise. Somebody here ought to be thanking God. Because this is the day that the Lord has made. And I shall rejoice. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. Yes, sir. I feel the Holy Ghost. Mother Joyce, uh, she didn't took her wing. Uh, she didn't lay her life down. Oh, she fought a good fight. And she ran a good race. And she kept the faith. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody say glory. Oh, bless his name. Bless his name. And to the family. God is with you. He said he'll never leave you nor forsake you. He'll be with you until the end. Ah, uh, we got to hold on to his promise. Yes, sir. In this day and time, we got to stand on the word of God. Anybody know the word of the Lord today? Ah, uh, do you really know his word today? Ah, uh, his word is for us. Somebody shout glory. Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. I feel good. I feel good in my spirit. Hallelujah. Thank God. Amen. For being here today, I give honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes, yes, yes. He's the head of my life. Yes. Oh. I give honor to my spiritual father, Apostle Elect. Yes. Amen. Terry D. Williams. Amen. I give honor to Bishop Thompson. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I give honor to <coughs> Pastor Savage. Yes. Amen. 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 I give honor to my sister, Pastor Bridget Druid. God bless, God bless. And all clergy that is here yes, yes. this day. Yes, I give God praise. I thank God for my brother. God Amen. Bless God bless we was young coming up sure in the town called Charleston. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was some history there. Uh -huh. Come on, sir. Come on. We went to school and we played and got in trouble and things like that. But as we got older, we separated. But the Lord is still good. Yeah, yeah. Is. But the whole time, I stayed in contact with my brother. Yeah. Yeah. I know that he has been through some trials and tribulations. Yeah. Yeah. But God is still able. Yeah. And he's still a healer. Yeah. He's still a deliverer. Yeah. Oh, yes, he is. Yeah. So I thank God for him giving me the opportunity to come. Yeah. And to 
preach his mother's home going. Yeah. Mother Joyce yes. was a kind woman, yes. a loving woman, yes. firm. Yes. She was the boss. Yes. Oh, can I get a witness in there? Amen. She was the boss. Amen. She didn't play. No, she didn't. Even as kids, when we were growing up and things like that, Mother Joyce was so kind to me and she adopted me as one of her sons in the neighborhood. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I know some of you are out here, I've seen your faces before, familiar. <coughs> But I thank God that I'm looking at you. Yes, yes. Ah, because I know God is good all the time. Yes, he is. Mm. And Mother Joyce, I tell you, it's me and Bra Bra, we went to school and things, and she was a very, very kind woman. She she accepted me into her home. Amen. With her husband, Rumble. How you doing, my brother? Good to see you again. <laughs> Amen. And uh God is just good all the time. Yes. Yes. Amen. I'm here on assignment. Amen. And give you a word from the Lord. All right. All right. Is that all right? All right. Yeah. Amen. Do you have your Bibles? I'll be coming from St. John 14. Mm -hmm. Powerful scripture. Yes, sir. Uh, scripture of comfort. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And God words read. And I'll be reading out the NIV Bible. <laughs> Don't let your hearts be troubled. Come on, come on. Trust in God and trust also in me. There is more than enough room in my father's home. If this were not so, I would have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you. And when everything is ready, I will come and get you so that you will always be with me where I am. Come on, And you know the way. Yes. To where I'm going. Yes. No, we don't, Lord. Thomas said, mm -hmm. we have no idea where you are going. Uh -huh. So how can we know the way? Come on. Well, Jesus told Thomas, he said, I am uh, the I God am. Almighty, I'm the way, yeah. I'm the, the truth, yeah. and the life. Come on. And no one no can one. come to the Father yeah. except through me. Yeah. Yeah. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this time. We thank you for this home going, God. Now, God, I ask you right now to anoint your men servant right now. Yeah, yeah, as you have me behind the cross of Calvary, yeah. as I give your people your word. Yeah. Oh, God, I ask you to continue on strengthening the family, comfort them right now in this time or moment. And God, we give you glory yeah. and we give you praise. Yeah. In Jesus' name we pray Jesus. and let the saints of God shout amen. 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 The disciples were obviously worried about mm -hmm. death mm -hmm. and what happens yeah. after war. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like some of us today. Jesus' words still comforts us today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we know from what Jesus said, the way to eternal life through unseen is secured for us if we trust him with the future. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He has already prepared the way to eternal life. Mm -hmm. The only issue that may still be unsettled here is our willingness to believe Come him. Mm -hmm. Could God Almighty, I feel him, I feel him. If I would give this message a title uh, this morning, saints of God, it would be, gracious, it would be, it's not over. Come on. It has just begun. Come on. Come on, turn to your neighbor. It ain't over. It has just begun. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. As we gather here this morning to remember the dear and precious life of Joyce Elaine Rumble Bailey, I know that many of you are dealing with mixed emotions. And on the one hand, there are emotions of great sadness. Mm -hmm. Sadness not for Mother Joyce, uh, come on. because Mother Joyce is in a better place. Yeah. Come on. But sadness because we have come today to say our final goodbyes and pay our last respect yes, to yes. someone who was and will always be very dear to us. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, saints, uh, there is a great joy and knowing that because of the relationship that Mother Joyce had with the Lord, huh? that she's already in his presence. Yeah. Uh, for the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5, so we are always confident. Well, come on. How come many on. confident today? Come on, come on, come on. Knowing that while we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. Yeah. And then 7 said, for we walk by faith come and on, not come on, by sight. Come on. And then 8 said, we are confident. Yeah. Yes, we Please, rather, yes. to be absent from the body yes. and be present with the Lord. Oh, I feel something. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some, so today is not a day of mourning. Yes. Come on. 
but it is a day of celebration. Yes. Come on. It's not a day of sorrow. Uh -huh. Come on. Uh -huh. But truly a day of rejoicing. Yeah. Today we come to remember the life of Mother George. Yeah. And reminisce over all special moments that we had with her. Yeah. Anybody got any special moments with yeah. her? Yeah. Yes, you see, Mother George had a relationship yeah. that carried some wonderful promises found in the text that I read this morning. Uh -huh. Oh, but the first promise I want to talk to you about this morning is that we don't have to fear death. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come Jesus come on, said, on, don't on. let your hearts be troubled. Be troubled. Right. Uh, we are troubled when we don't know what is going to happen yes. when we die. Come on. But Jesus has taken the fear out of death. Yes, he did. Yes, yes, he did. Yes. And he has conquered the grave and death. So there is need, there is need to be no fear Stop. of our eternal future. Yes, That's right. Yes, oh, but Revelation 1 said, do not be afraid. Yes. I am the first and the last. Yeah. Come on, come on. I am he who lives. Come on. And was dead. And, dead. and behold, come on. I am alive yeah. forever. Yeah more. Yeah. Oh, look at your neighbor say it's not over. Yeah. Not over. Uh, because Christ conquered death. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There should be no fear for Christians because through Christ, we also conquered death. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. We are troubled when we view death as an end instead of a beginning. Come uh -huh. on, come on. But 2 Chronicles, Great. 2 Corinthians says in 5 and 1, for we know that if our earthly home, come on. this tabernacle come on. is destroyed, yeah. we have a building, a building. Of God. A house not made with hands, come on. but eternal in heaven. Yeah. I feel come something yes, here this yes, morning. Sir. Paul says here that after this life is over, come on. that our spirit which is real, real. Ah, good God Almighty, the body which is represented by the Greek word skinum, mm -hmm. which refers to the physical body. Yeah. Paul says that through this earthly body uh -huh. will be dissolved. Yeah. God has promised that there will be a building of God. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is a description of death yes, yes, of the mortal yes, yes, body. Yes. Yes. Yet it is intended to be encouragement yes. for the believers. Come on, come on. For he and she to look at. Yeah, if anybody encouraged today, uh, I feel something be ready to happen right here. But the Bible, God will change this body yeah. to a glorified body. body. Uh -huh. Yes, Lord. So we might ask, what are we here for? Uh, Come on. Well, Mother George's life is not over. Come on. Uh -huh. Come on. As a matter of fact, it just be begun. Uh -huh. Yes, Come she on. has shared the temporary for the eternal. Uh, yeah. The time is for the spotless. Uh, yeah. And the passing for the everlasting. Uh, Come on now. Oh, the Bible said that he's coming and looking for a church yeah. without a spot or a wrinkle. Yeah. Uh, I feel the Holy Ghost. You go ahead. I feel him down in my spirit. Yeah. Yeah. And I got nobody that can testify and show yeah. amen. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. Yes, her body Preach. is Preach. dead. Yeah. Uh -huh. And there is no life Preach. in her flesh. Yeah. But one of these days, yeah. she will rise yeah. again. Yeah. Because death yeah. can't yeah. keep her in the grave. Come on, yeah. Though her body is physically here, yeah. and her spirit and soul is with Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. I love how the Bible puts it in perspective. Preach. Yeah. Preach. If Mother Joe uh -huh. could come back, she, yeah, wouldn't. she wouldn't. Uh, somebody shout glory. Because 2 Peter 3 and 8 says, uh, But beloved, uh, be not ignorant uh, of this one thing uh, that one day is with the Lord. Uh, as a thousand years. Uh, and a thousand years as one day. Uh, so don't let your heart be troubled. Uh, no, not only do we have the promise uh, that we can face death without fear. Uh, oh, I want to talk about this second promise. Is that all right? Uh, Jesus made uh, is that he is preparing a place uh -huh. for the believers in heaven. Yeah. Yeah. However, John uh -huh, took a glimpse of the heavenly city. Uh, yeah. He said we'll be walking on the streets of yeah. gold. Hey, that's, a, that's what he said. He said he's going to prepare a place. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't know about y'all, but I'm looking to get to the place. Uh -huh. on, is it anybody here yeah. that's ready to get to yes, the place yes, that Jesus brought? Yes, Oh, can I get back to the text? Uh, then the third promise found in the gospel of John yeah. uh, is that he will personally receive us. Uh, yeah. And now want you to I want you to imagine this. Uh, the moment that Mother George took her last breath. Uh, uh -huh. It was her first breath in heaven. Uh -huh. And the Lord and his angels were right there Come to welcome now. her yeah. in. <laughs> he was there with uh, one of the first faces that she saw. Uh, 
was Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. He was there with his arms wide open to receive her and to the gate to the great mansion that he has prepared for his children. And Mother Joy, she experienced a love that we can't even understand. A love that is forgiven every failure that she had in her life. A love that men the hurt only she knew. A love that understood every feeling that she had. It is unconditional love. Anybody know about unconditional love? That complete satisfaction the loaning of her soul. Oh, the last promise I want to talk to you about. Ah, Jesus said to Thomas, Thomas, you say you don't know the way to heaven, but you really do, because I told you while I was spending time with you. The Bible says I am the way, the truth, and the life. More than anything, Mother Joyce understood this. She understood that without the relationship uh, uh -huh. with the Savior, there was no hope of heaven. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, as I was talking to my brother and how he was giving me the rundown before she took her last breath. Uh, uh, she said she was calling for a son. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In the hospital, you know, in this pandemic and what's going on, we couldn't go visit our loved one. Uh -huh. But his brother was talking to me and let me know something. Yeah. He said that he had to call the doctor to get over there to see his mother because his mother was calling for him. Okay. Can I get a witness in here? I know a lot of y'all didn't heard the story, but when he got over there, it was a big smile on her face. Oh, she was filled with joy. And she told the doctors that she had a son and his name was Michael. So when he came in, she began to talk and he began to rub on her. He began to say, mama, you need to get well. Mama. Oh, but then mama said, son, I need you to pray with me. Uh -huh. Oh, Lord. Uh, she knew me? she had to get some things right before come on, she had come to on, enter man. heaven. Come on, come on, she had to on. let the Lord know come and on, her son know yeah. that whatever I done to you, son, oh, I want you to forget come me. On, and she told the Lord, cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Oh, she took her breath. Can I get somebody to show glory? More than anything. She understood that Christ came to take away the sins of the world. And that includes her. She believed in the great promise given to all families in three simple verses. Oh, John 3, 16 through 18. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Mother Joy's life revolved around these promises and because of her relationship with Jesus, she had joy that lasts and peace she never thought would be suppressed. She had the brighter star, the shining star and she also had Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. I'm getting ready to close. Uh, many of you sitting here today uh, may not have the same relationship she had with Jesus. Come on, Come on. Uh, and maybe you have never given a thought to your eternal future. Uh, but today you need to ask yourself, uh, where would I go if I were to leave this world? Oh, I'm talking to somebody out there. Uh, I just want you to take a moment uh, to share with me some scriptures uh, so that I can explain the promises of eternal life through Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. I, do I got any saints that's going to testify on, with me? I, can I see you lift your hand I, and know that I'm not here all by myself? Yeah. That somebody's here that know the words from the Lord. Good God Almighty. Then it says the, the first one uh, she already that you already heard. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father except through me. And then Acts 14 says, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven that's given to me at which we must be saved. Oh, hallelujah. It doesn't have to do with.
with religion, <laughs> Pentecostal, Baptist, or Catholic. <laughs> it doesn't have to do with being a good person. <laughs> I want you to listen clear to me. <laughs> no one can pay you in. <laughs> you have to come by the way of Jesus Christ. <laughs> and 1 John 5 and 12, 13 says, He who has the Son has life. <laughs> who does not have the Son of God does not have life. These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that you may be known that you have eternal life. Somebody shout glory. Oh, Mother Joyce, a preacher in her own way. Oh, she will speak the word. It was time that I spent fellowship with her. And I seen her lift her hand toward heaven. And I seen her open up her mouth and give God the praise. Is it anybody here? Go give God some praise. And I'm letting you know today. If you don't know the Lord as your personal sin. And you leave out of here. I'm here to let you know. That the devil is waiting on you. And if you don't get your house in order. Oh you do from H-E-L-L. Oh I got to preach it like it is. Because I come not for you. I come for God. And preach the word of God. But I'm here to help you. Get your life right for God. Because Jesus is soon to come. Anybody know that he's coming? Do I got any believers know that he's coming? Somebody shout yeah. Hallelujah. But I want you to know that Jesus went to Calvary to shed his blood for you and me. Somebody shout that's love. Oh, they hung him high. And they stressed him wide. He hung his head. For me and you, he died. That's love. But that's not how the story is. Because three days later, he rose again. And that's love. Somebody shout glory. Somebody shout hallelujah. Woo, glory to God. Oh, bless his name. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Oh, I know it's hot. But I tell you one thing, H E L L is hotter. Can I get a witness? And if I was you, I don't want to go. But Mother Joyce, before she shut her eyes, and she wants y'all to know that she wants each and every one of y'all to know the Lord for yourself. Yes, she do. Oh, yes, she wants you to know the Lord for yourself. Hallelujah. And God is good all the time. And as a preacher. I want to give the opportunity yes. go ahead, go ahead. to anybody that's here tired of living the way you're living sickness on your body these things gonna come but God said he will give you peace, peace. that passes all yeah. understanding yeah. Mother Joyce she been through sickness for a while yes. Yes, yes. but through her sickness she knew the man that can heal her spirit. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. The Bible declares that heaven and earth may pass away. Come on. But my word gonna stand forever. Yes, yes, sir. Do I got a witness out here? Yes, yes. So is it anybody here that want to receive the Lord as your personal Savior? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And build a relationship with him. And I'm I am, I am the first partaker because I was in the world whole. Yes, sir. I did a lot of wrong things. And I got to testify. Yeah. Because I haven't been perfect. And I'm still not perfect. But I'm perfect in Jesus Christ. Come on, come on, come on. Somebody shout glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, sir. So if anybody here they want to give their life to the Lord, everyone bow their heads, please. Yes. Glory to God. If anybody is here, I'm not gonna call you up. Not gonna put you out there. But as eyes are closed, head bowed. Yes, I just want to see the hands. Yes. Don't look to the left and don't look to the right. Because one thing about it, we got to go before Jesus ourselves. Yes, and this is the opportunity. Please don't pass it by. God is calling on you. You are his child. But he give us that opportunity for salvation today. I know the saying said that you're here today and gone tomorrow. 
But now in this day and time, the saying is now, you're here today and gone today. So this is your opportunity. I remember when I was in a service and the preacher offered me salvation. Oh yes, I was ashamed because the life that I was living. But we can't worry about this world. We got to get our minds on Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. That one that went to Calvary's cross yes. and to shed his precious blood for us yes. so that we can have another chance in life. So if there's no one, glory to God, let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this opportunity that we're here today. For this home, for evangelists, yours, Elaine Rommel Bailey. God, we thank you for her life. We thank you for her family. Now, God, I ask you to comfort them in this time of moment. But God, I want you to let them realize that the only way we're going to get where she's at, we have to accept the son Jesus as our personal Savior. Now, God, touch your people right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Touch your son right now. Continue on healing his body. Oh, God, keep his mind. In the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you and we give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray and let the saints of God say amen. 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 We have someone that's going to sing a selection. Amen. You can come. And then we will do the commitment. I'd just like to say I was raised by Michael Bailey, adopted by Michael Bailey when I was seven years old. Yeah. That's the only grandmother that I knew. Yeah. And from me, Jermaine, and Angel, who is my other um, sister that was adopted by Michael Bailey, um, she wished she could be here, but she has COVID-19. But we would like to you know, let you know that we love you. We love you, Emma. And I see Don over there. We're gonna try to do this. She used to love for me and my brother to get together and, and sing. We're gonna try to do they that way. They, they that wait upon.
Almighty God, yeah. mm -hmm. to take out this world, our deceased yes. mm -hmm. mother Joyce Elaine Rumble Bailey. Yes. Mm -hmm. We commit her body mm -hmm. to Mother Earth, mm -hmm. earth to earth, yes. mm -hmm. ashes to ashes, mm -hmm. and dust to dust. Mm -hmm. Looking for the general resurrection mm -hmm. in the last day yes. and the life 
of the world to come yes, through our Lord Jesus Christ yes. at whose second coming is glorious majesty to judge the world mm -hmm. the earth and the sea shall give up their dead mm -hmm. and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed and made like unto his own glorious body according to the working whereby mm -hmm. he is able to subdue all things unto yes, himself yes, mm -hmm. yes. Now, could you repeat the Lord's Prayer after me? Our Father, Our Father who, art in heaven, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy, name. Thy, kingdom thy kingdom come, thy will be done, will be done. On, earth, on earth as it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give, us Give us this day our daily bread, our daily bread. and forgive us and our, trespasses, our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. From thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for now and forever. And let the people of God say amen. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, blessed are the dead who died in the Lord from henceforth. Yes, said the spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. Now we'll do the benediction. Now may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal Jesus, equips you to do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. Now I will turn this over to the funeral service. Amen. Amen. Thank you again for joining this family to celebrate the life of evangelist George Bailey. We thank you to all the ministers who have served him today, to our eulogists for the timely words he shared with the family. Thank you to each of you for your ministry of presence. Let's give God a hand clap of praise Amen. for tonight. Due to COVID-19 restrictions, we will not actually greet the family here at the cemetery. Um, the cemetery crew cannot even come up until we are all gone because of the restrictions. But we actually return to your cars so they begin to lower her body into the ground and to her earthly resting place. But we know her soul is in heaven. Amen. Amen. We thank God for her life, her legacy, yes. and all that she meant to her family. On behalf of the Johnson Funeral Home, thank you for allowing our family to serve the Bailey family in your time of bereavement. We hope that our services have been to your satisfaction on today. Our concluding prayer for you is that God will grant you serenity to accept the things you cannot change. Courage to change the things you can, and God give you the wisdom to know the difference. These services are now concluded. You may now retire to your vehicles. God bless us upon each of you. Yeah,